In Tacloban, some bodies are covered, placed on the sides of the streets, but many others remain where they died. A tourist from New Zealand describes what he saw in that devastated city. We saw five dead bodies just wrapped up in plastic and one other child, probably eight or nine, just being carried in a plastic bag who had drowned. Most of them are drownings. Here, two responders remove a body from a massive field of debris. Relief officials are worried the decaying bodies will create health risks for survivors, many of whom are drinking water from wells, not knowing if it's contaminated. For now, we don't have enough water. Even though we, we are not sure that it is clean and safe, we still drink for it because we need to survive. In Tacloban, a city of more than 200,000, survivors walk the streets shell-shocked, scavenging for anything to sustain them. This video shows the incredible power of the storm surge. Massive tankers picked up and carried ashore in Tacloban. Some of these vessels slammed into homes. Before this storm, hundreds of thousands of people had been evacuated, moved to sturdy shelters. But the brick and mortar was no match for the 20-foot surge that hit Tacloban. In some places, people are lining up for water and gas in an orderly fashion. But there are also reports of looting. One witness was asked if looters were just trying to get food. I saw them, uh, 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 two people, three people are carrying uh, brand new refrigerators, brand new washing machines, motorcycles, brand new, you know, all of, I mean, appliances. They can't eat it. New video into CNN shows the first moments when the storm hit early Friday and scenes of desperation in the hours immediately afterward. Some of these people can barely keep their heads above water. The mayor of Tacloban and his family were inside this structure, stood on tables to avoid the surge, then had to punch holes in the ceiling and climb to the rafters to survive. The mayor now says, quote, I have not spoken to anyone who has not lost someone, and his constituents are desperate. Get international help to come here now, not tomorrow, now. This is really, really like bad, bad, worse than hell, worse than hell.